Okay, here's a short movie just to show how the fuel system works here on my Cozy Mark IV. Um, I've got retractable gear on the on the aircraft, and so I don't have landing gear based in this region region here. Um, so what I've got is a sump that has about six to eight gallons, and I feed my fuel down from the from the wing tank through this large um, half inch or five eighths diameter uh, tube, which feeds directly from the wing tanks into the sump here. And it's got one on either side. There's no selector left and right. Inside the fuel tank here, under this panel, you can see this metal plate here, um, I have two submersible automotive pumps. Bearing in mind this is for an automotive conversion. Um, I have two submersible pumps in there, and they lie at 45 degrees and attach to the, the plate. And the, there's a kind of an underwater, under, under fuel sock, which is a pre-filter. So fuel comes in from the wing tanks, fills this, this, this sump here, um, and then goes through the, the two pre-filters, two pumps, and I can select one or the other from the instrument panel. Um, the two come together in a, um, a manifold and then feed out of this uh, 3 8 inch line here, which just goes round the corner, turns round and goes to this fuel valve um, shown here. Fuel valve, I didn't really want to have it, but Canadian authorities say I have to have it. It's no point in reality because um, when the fuel pumps are off, the check valve is closed and fuel can't pass through it anyway, so it's actually a waste of of weight, um, also potential for leakage, you can see all the extra fittings I have to have there and I have to have a control cable, um, all of these things and it will just be turned on once and left on for the rest of its life. Anyway, I have to have it there for regulations in Canada. Um, here I have a, a vent pipe which is running across here, um, right, underneath, right underneath here there's a T-section which then feeds up to this pipe running up right up here and then sorry, right up here, and then there's a, a box here, which is a kind of a plenum area here, where all, all the um, vents come together from the wing tanks and everything. So anything comes up to there, pours into this, this, this box, and we either feed down there, or we get air bubbles coming up from the, the, um, the tank below. And then this, this box up here has a feed off, up, right up to the, uh, the front, and then back, and then vents out through the bottom of the fuselage. So that's the vent system. Um, so anyway, let's get back to the, the, the pressure fuel system. Um, the fuel comes out of this uh, 3 8 inch line here under pressure. Pressure is 34 pounds per square inch above manifold pressure, and I'll show you how that happens later on. Um, routes through the fuel valve across here, and then I have my first filter, which is a 10 micron filter here. It's a, um, gosh, I can't think of the name of it. Straight up aircraft spruce, but there's a 10 micron filter there. You can replace the element just to take it out and wash it. Um, and then the fuel line goes up here. You can just see the edge of it running up here. Um, still 3 8 inch. And actually, I have I've fitted the um, some um, plastic tubing, um, Tigon tubing. Put put uh, put some um, uh, tarcon powder on it first, just to make it slip over. So it's protected um, against bumping and all kinds of things like that. Um, it goes up and then penetrates the firewall, and I'm going to walk around to see that. So it penetrates the firewall in this blue pipe just here, with my fingers on it, the two pipes here. Penetrates the fire firewall, it's a silicone covered pipe, and it heads on down and feeds the um, the gas escalator there. The gas escalator has a um, a uh, little device up here which I can pull. Sorry, I can't see that through here. Um, I can pull this device here, this little cable, um, which actuates um, this mechanism here and causes the, uh, the any water that's contained in the bottom here to be fed out of this, this pipe down here which feeds out to the bottom. I can also activate it by pressing on the pipe from the bottom of the fuselage. So having come through this, this gas escalator here, there's another filter in there. I can't remember the, the, the mesh size on that screen size. Um, but then it comes out of here and it feeds over through this uh, silicone covered hose and then straight into the fuel rail just here. So this is the fuel rail. And then we're in a steel tubing running down here where the fuel rail runs. 
Um, and then I have across this side, I run across with a fire uh, uh, protected um, flexi line between one side and the other. Um, then I'll have to go back around the other side of the aeroplane. Having gone through the the uh, fuel rails, we're now on the other side. Um, having gone through the fuel rails, this is coming on the other side of that uh, uh, fire shield uh, line. Goes back into the other uh, injector rail, steel lines here, steel here, and then it goes through the pressure regulator just down down here. This is just my oil filler. Um, so it comes down through the pressure regulator here. The pressure regulator is monitored against the uh, manifold pressure here to maintain 34 pounds. So the, just this point here is my takeoff for the, the manifold pressure for this pressure regulator. And then the uh, fuel is returning at low pressure through this, this line here and feeds through the firewall by my engine mount. Okay, so that's low pressure coming back. And now we're going to come through back into the fuselage, into inside the cockpit, and you can see um, in the.